Welcome back to Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm excited this week to show you the feature of attaching drawings for greater shop floor visibility. I'm sure you've heard the terminology going paperless in your shop. This functionality will get you the first step in that right direction. When you're working today and creating your orders in Job Boss, you're printing out multiple travelers that are ultimately going to go to the shop floor. Along with those travelers, you're also attaching drawings or needing to print out drawings so that your employees know those specifications that need to be met for those parts. Once you bundle that all together, it's a packet that goes out to the shop floor. Well, as you know, many things can happen with those packets, right? For example, a situation could arise where you need to split the job and now we need to share the paperwork. Or perhaps the traveler or a drawing get misplaced. Ah, sometimes we get a little grease on the traveler or a drawing gets ripped or something like that. And so having paper isn't always the most reliable source of information to the shop floor. So let me show you today how we can go ahead and attach things within Job Boss for visibility within your workstation driver out on your shop floor. Taking a look at Job Boss here within Job Entry, we're on the Routings tab here for Job 10161. And specifically, I'm going to take a look at the Laser Work Center. On the left hand side here, we have the Note, where, of course, when we open it up, we have uh, documentation that we can send and print out on that traveler um, for this particular work center and what work needs to be done. But also at the top of the screen, you have the Attachments tab. By using the Attachments tab here, not only can we have these attachments or those drawings print out with available reports, but we can also view these within that shop floor workstation driver. So just a reminder how to add attachments in here. I'll click the white sheet of paper at the top and we can browse to select the file that I want to put in here. We're using auto view to go ahead and display any of these attachments you put in here. So PDFs, text files, Excel spreadsheets, kind of you name it, you know, um, drawings, etc. can be put in here. I'm going to go ahead and select the PDF that's a drawing um, for this particular part and I'm going to describe that here as drawing and you'll see down below here when I tab off it just describes that path so as you get many different documents down below here it's nice to have that description for where that file path actually goes and what it does so once I'm done with that I'm going to go ahead and close out of here and save that once you save that job and that attachment, I'm now going to jump on over to Data Collection and Workstation Driver. Here I'll log in as Bill today. And once you get logged in, through Data Collection, I can go ahead and enter in the job number that I'm inquiring about. So perhaps I'm looking to see that drawing that we just did, but I don't have the traveler in front of me and I want to view it here within the application. Enter in your job number, click View Job, and then you'll find all of the details, very similar to what you normally see on the Traveler, show here on the screen. So we have our routings, we have our materials, our picks, or our buys. Specifically with those routings, we were focused on the Laser Work Center um, back under that job entry screen. So if I click on Laser now, you can see I have two other icons illuminate here within this job details. I can click on instructions and see the printed out instructions that I had typed in. But more importantly, drawings. So under the drawings, there you see um, the three attachments that I have, the inspection forms, specifications, and then that drawing that I had attached and shown you. I'm going to select that option, select view here at the bottom, and it opens up auto view. So remember auto view is our, our viewer tool that allows you to pull up any attachments that you have, PDFs, you know, CAD CAM drawings, Excel spreadsheets, Word documents, whatever it might be, it pulls it up in a viewer tool. It's not able to be edited here, right? It's not its native application, but you can definitely view it here. So right from the shop floor, I can go ahead and view those drawings. I'm going to close out of there. And so just to recap here once again, that back under job entry is where it all starts, right? And you select which routing step is the employee on the shop floor going to want to need to see that information. Attach your drawings at the specific routing step. 
under the Attachments tab, browse to the file, and then go ahead and leverage that within Workstation Driver. Give it a shot. See how it works for you. Save some time, save some paper, while simultaneously increasing your visibility on the shop floor.